Good morning. It is uh, day five of our Lionsgate Portal 8-8 message. So um, today I chose to work your light oracle deck to see what our message is. I sat with spirit and out of the decks I had chosen for this week, I uh, was guided to use this one. So let's go ahead and see what our message of this collective message is. Spirit, thank you so much for your wisdom. Um, your advice, your guidance along the way, along our life's journey. Can you please give us this message that would benefit us with the healing and becoming our higher self during this full of energy week of the Lion's Gate? What is our message for day five of this collective message? Spirit, what is our message, please? more what's our message spirit what advice do you want to give us along that connects with this other messages that we're getting this week what is the message please what's our advice what do you want us to focus on that's two so we're not going to do that please just one message spirit what's the main message you want us to know for today along our journey to use with this lion's gate energy What's the message oops well this one turns sideways so we're gonna go ahead and take it awakening beautiful energetic upgrades a new way of being integration and our daily message yesterday yesterday was integration so we're being it's a confirmation we have to integrate in order to awake and move to that next level of our highest self Okay, a beautiful card. So let's find this in here. Awakening. Awakening is on page 90, which is a nine. Almost completed. Almost completion. Okay, so my lion's kind of way over here, so I don't know if it's going to sit on him today. Well, I'll just hold it. Because you can't really see the full card, I don't think, with the line today. Okay, well, I'll just hold it. <clears throat> Awakening. Energe I don't want to burn it with the candle or the incense. Move that out of the way. There we go. Okay. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. You are going through a period of awakening. Things are changing within you at many levels. You are starting to remember ancient truths and discovering more and more about who you are and why you are incarnated. You may find that you are experiencing past life flashbacks, seeing the invisible thread that is woven through all of life, or even being feeling Kundalini Shakti rise through your body from the base of your spine. The most important thing for you at this time is not to overthink it and to stay grounded. Share your experiences with like-souled people while you consciously integrate them. Journal and pay attention to your dreams. You are remembering your soul gifts and them are, are emerging. During this time of transition and awakening, you may be called to devote yourself to being of service. There are ideas, truths, concepts, books, and creations waiting to be birthed into this world. Stay open to receiving them. Pulling this card may be a sign that you are here to birth one of these creations into the world or perhaps you are being called to make a shift in life in order to be of service. Don't think too much about it. Instead, repeat the following work your light activation. I have to tell you, this it's like a running theme here. We have healing, grounding, being of service. Um, like the, the all these messages keep saying to you, like to get to your next level, you have to do these things. So that's awesome. Okay. The work your light activation, hold this card to your heart and say, I surrender to my awakening. I allow the Shakti energy to rise from the base of my spine. I open myself up to the universe using me in some way that delights my mind, body, and spirit. So, you know, things, if you overthink things, that's another thing to say. If you overthink things and you think people are out to get you or whatever, like I hear a lot of people saying, well, I'm not doing that because they're just, you have to be open to be willing to give in order to receive. 
So that's how life is. People always like put these um, limitations on them and think negatively that it blocks them so much. So, you know, look at it. Not, don't look at it like, you know, I'm not saying let people walk all over you. You, you, just, you have to know that difference. There's a fine line. But realize that in order to receive, you have to give. You have to be of service. You have to be balanced. You have to be grounded. You know? It all comes down to all that. And all these cards have been saying over and over, pretty much the same themed message to awaken to your higher self. You have to be of service. You have to be balanced. You have to be grounded. You have to be healed. So, that's in your hands. Nobody else can do it for you. It's in your, the way you think, the way you feel, the way you express yourself. So, anyway, that's your message for today. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Peace. Bye.